put a fork in it, it's done. <laughs> See if we can make it through double X Quantimino today. What is this, amateur hour? <laughs> I'm blacker than the ace of spades. Like a top lot. You and your whole damn army put together. That's what it's for. Why That's you true. There, chanting that That's gravity. true. But it's only half the show. I'm taking out any money from you. Suck on the humble to get to my way. It is the best part of it. So I'll tell you what. Raiders pull. Your so-called revolution star. Yeah, favorite, favorite call. Favorite call. Oh my god, it's Julio Depot News. Julio, you gotta save it. You need to shut the fuck up. Give him an appetizer, Julio. Now can you dig it? Ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, the world's first Quantimino powered podcast live from the Daddy Juice Energy Studio in the Beaded Curtain District. Your star plays Gemini Jackson, the Burrito Bandito, Brian McFly, and Arthur Dude. Welcome, welcome, ladies, gentlemen, of course, you scholars. I'm your fearless and greasy host, Gemini Jackson, someone in the Quantimino with model of the millennium, Brian McFly. Bonjour. And our resident hyena, Arthur Dude. Howdy, ninjas. The burrito bandito. Hola. Joins us from the other side of the glory hole. Now, let's get this party started with Double X Quantimino. Quantimino. We're fucking bilingual. We're mm-hmm. we're we're out here. We just out here. Bilingual, dude. We just out Polyglots. here. Polyglots. Yeah. You think Quantimino is an English word? No, man. Comes but from I, all dimensions at all times, so we know all the languages. That's what's up, dude. We just choose English. Thank you. <laughs> Paging Art the Arbiter. Cheeseburgers. You've heard of them. I've heard of them. How do you feel when they cost the same as a regular hamburger? Well, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the question. What would you rather? Would you rather pay extra for cheese or... Okay, hold on a second. This, it, started, it started like this. We, we got Whataburger. We're going to be talking about it later. We got, we got Whataburger, and the Whataburger doesn't come with cheese. Correct. So, so it's extra to have cheese. Correct. And he was like, well, you know, it's worse is it when you don't want cheese and you have to pay the same amount for a cheeseburger. Hmm. And I was like, I think that's the tax for being an idiot and not getting a burger with cheese. I think you got to get burger with cheese. Every time? In my opinion, yes. Cheeseburgers are better than hamburgers. Yeah. But when you're dating women, they don't like cheese. What is up with that? That's true. See? What the hell? See, and that factors in. And then in. you gotta pay. You gotta and pay. You for gotta it. pay. That you gotta take that up with for, you for take them that up not with your taking. Bitch, dude. For them not putting the cheese so, on. More so, yeah. if we went to a casual dining restaurant women. and there. Oh! What did he say? What did he say? Oh my God! What God he breaking he fucking news! What did he say? I said, I don't date those women. Oh, King Burrito! He is our king. King Burrito. All he dates are cheese eaters. All he dates are cheese eaters. <laughs> Fucking lactose bitches do not apply. No, it's not even that. <laughs> yeah, but they also that. don't eat cheeseburgers. What? Who? Lactose bitches. That's true, but but the women thing is different. Right. There's they just, just don't something want about women that don't. They don't like creamy they eat stuff. Cheese on a charcuterie board, but they, they won't suck eat dick. It. Dick cheese. Yeah. Smegma. Smegma. Hardened. Hardened smegma. Armored dick. <laughs> armadillo dick you got armadillo dick that's what happens when you got fucking hardened smegma armadillo dick so okay so you're saying you're, you have to pay but I mean I think that's something you take up with her you say look honey you're gonna have to scrape the cheese off cause I ain't, I ain't playing <laughs> because this because I paid for the cheese I'm getting the cheese you just gotta scrape the shit off your shit Wising up. But Arthur, what's your what's your Ow, why are you hitting me? Why are you hitting me? <laughs> <laughs> He's about to smear feces in her face. All right, so Arthur the arbiter. So we're talking about the items a cheeseburger and they're asking for no cheese on it? You're asking you're okay. What the comparison is there's a burger option on the and menu. there's a cheeseburger option. Okay. These are two restaurants, right? Yeah. Different restaurants. One restaurant, yeah. Same okay. quality exact burgers. Yeah. Fine. One restaurant, you have to pay extra to get cheese. Which is typically extra, right? The other yeah. one only makes a cheeseburger, but they will sell you a hamburger at the same cost as a cheeseburger. Yeah, they just won't put the I cheese on I see where you're there. going at. Yeah. But you're already at a higher price point with that choice of cheese or no cheese. Yeah. If it's the same price, you're already at that high price point, like past what I would typically make the matter of. Right. Like at this point, what, you're paying 6 to $8 or more for a single hamburger? Yeah. Yeah. So at fu- that point, after that point, fuck it. Yeah, cheese is optional, but it, it defaults that it comes with it. Which is the worser? The cheese one, I would say. Yeah. If you were Which feeling one? like a hamburger. Mine. 
I hate that, dude. Feeling like a hamburger? But getting a cheeseburger? Going on a date with a woman who doesn't like cheese. I'm, I'm more, I, <laughs> Is she a lactose bitch, though? <laughs> is she a lact it doesn't matter. Sometimes it they does just don't, matter. Sometimes they just don't like cheese. <laughs> yeah, if they just don't like cheese, do and a burrito she's not does. a lactose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll be on the burrito boat. Yeah, I'd get in like, the boat, the burrito boat. I would Venmo her white, for the eleven ninety five, or get the Venmo request for eleven ninety five for that burger with no cheese. No, just, just, just the cheese cost. Just the cheese cost. The cheese cost. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, the hamburgers <laughs> suck. I agree that place where you're paying six to eight dollars for it. Six to eight dollars. Six to eight. I'm saying if it's a sub five dollar burger. And cheese is extra, or cheese is included, and you get it with that. Still, I don't see a problem with that. Yeah. You get more value getting the cheese with it included in the base price, where it's not cheese is extra. But if they don't want the cheese, they should have that option, because... What's the poor experience? I think most I people think it's the same experience with hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Most people would chagrin at paying for cheese, or... No, I think people. I think they feel so much shame for not getting cheese in their burger that they just eat the cost. They, they just eat the cheese. It. Most I, people would opt did. without cheese, I would say. Really? If it was, ex I don't even understand. It's what called a hamburger. About. If it was extra, no, it would, it would opt for no, no I cheese. I always get the cheese. Dude. Always burrito. Yeah, I always get the cheese. Yeah, because he don't date bitches who don't get the That's cheese. Right. That's right. Wow. What cheese do you prefer? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I'm on a burger. It's a, it's American or it's cheddar. It's always cheddar. Cheddar makes it better. Cheddar I like makes it better. Jack. That's pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like. If you're going to design your ideal burger, speaking of all-time favorites. Hey, we should trans. Yeah, we should just yeah, jump yeah, right yeah. into it. It's topical. So I, the, This is Burger Corner. You are talking about how like you you only eat this when you're drunk, but it's also a it's also a nighttime thing. Like if I've if I'm coming back from a broad's house, sure. Before I go home. And you just been fucked. I've been <laughs> fresh got, fucked and I hungry. I just got fucked in my ass by you just some got woman. Fresh fucked and you're looking to suck a burger down. And yeah. you dropped like four loads at that point. Yeah. And just 18 on the cowboys. last one right before the sun <laughs> yeah. rises. I'm, Eighteen gay cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking cock. <laughs> he doesn't even. I like how we've added like a Boston accent or something. Yeah, too. we're just like making it worse. <laughs> cock. Quack. Yeah, so it's, I'm after. It's after my fourth load. I'm like run out of jizz. I'm just using my hydro seals to get some fluid into my jizz. You're just pumping fluid. You need the protein. So you're gonna go suck down a what a burger. So what I'm gonna get is a Whataburger Junior. What is your all time favorite? Oh, it's a Whataburger Junior. I'm gonna get a Junior. Whataburger Junior meal. Okay. With cheese. Oh, wow. Bitch. Okay, and I'm gonna what a size it so so the fries and the coke are bigger. Uh huh. But the burger's small, but it has yeah. cheese. The reason it's small is because I'm also getting a honey butter chicken biscuit. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Did oh, we just get a fucking McGangbang? But I'm not mixing them. One's a dessert. One's a dessert sandwich. The honey butter chicken biscuit is for dessert, that's baby girl. Excellent dessert. I mean, that's a pretty good meal, right? Because you're not like you're not overeating. No, that's. I mean, a, you're overeating a little bit, but not. That's too what much. they call the well balanced diet. Thank yeah, you. you're not going overboard getting a real water. The burger Brian McFly meal is a very item. responsible meal. Yep. 4 a.m. And it's got and like fucking more a breadth of flavors. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, a three course meal. Oh, wow. Open up the appetizer being some It's fries. chef's table. Yeah. We're over here at the fucking Main chef's course. table. That HBCB dude is. Uh, yeah, you're right. HBCB so is hot shit. I like it with the fucking jalapeno. What does? <laughs> Wait, listen. Like a breed of ram wanting to rut. Rut? Forgot Rit. to talk about rutting. What, what is, is rutting? rutting? Dutch rudders, like uh, it's, just I think it's hot dogging, but with a butt. It's something about cow or like a. Uh, I think it's when, when like pigs or yeah, yeah. animals. Deer. Something about them fucking. It's some, something yeah, about heat. It's like when they're in heat. It's like the oh. male version of heat. Maybe? Dude heat. It might be dude heat. Oh, so that's when they're dry humping everything. Is that what it means to be stuck in a rut? <laughs> Could be. Maybe when you're just there with your dick Maybe. in your hand. Dude, I was looking at your Rockstar can, and, and out of the corner of my eye, it looked like a surge, like a tall boy surge. We're not sponsored. Oh, shit. Uh, man, 300 we milligrams awesome. of caffeine. Jesus Christ. 300. I wish it wasn't that That's many. real. So you were saying jalapeno business? The jalapeno cheddar biscuits. No honey. Ooh, butter. I do You love can those. put the honey better. Do you do the, that? Yeah, jalapeno swap jalapeno it out. It makes it, it better. Your way. It makes it better. Or just like you like. The jalapeno cheddar biscuits are delicious. Hot shit. But I don't know if I would put honey butter on it. Why not? Why not? Sweet, I guess. That's you're, a sweet, you're more sweet amenable and to sweet and spicy. And spicy. Sweet, yeah, spicy, and savory. Oh my god. Maybe I should. I should try that. Venture chance. forth. Venture forth, my Live son. Live a little. 
I don't yeah. think I do Treat like it. Explore your world before you eat yourself. I like. I've just. You're trying to get into spice. I'm this is a great tip to I know. I'm allegedly white, and I just um. He's discovering. I just it. got into like you know savory and sweet, so I can't. Oh. I can't. I mean, I'm. I gotta ease into your the, palate. Isn't it's not. It ready. might shock the palate. <laughs> what is this? Amazon? I see. You could also get a sausage bob and put some spicy ketchup on it. That's good too. What's a yes, sausage, uh, what's a sausage yeah. bob? Breakfast uh, on a bun. Yeah. Or some of that spicy ketchup number two. Yeah. Special blend limited edition. Limited batch. Single barrel. If I'm getting a burger. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. The, no. Oh, the okay. all time, the burrito all time favorite. The meal. The whole meal. We're not talking about just their burgers. We're talking about across their whole menu. What is it that you get? The ultimate burrito the order. The burrito you can have order. Breakfast. You can have dessert. And Julio's oh. paying. Sky's Ooh. the limit. I mean, I'm still probably just going to go with my go-to. Yeah, Toast exactly. Burrito, That's the whole point. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That's the patty melt, add tomato. Oh, and I'm whoa. Add ketchup on it. Hold the phone. Add tomatoes. tomato to all cut tomatoes? through all that savory. This is a genius move, dude. I never even thought about the chaser. Because, exactly. The patty melt to me is just a fucking grease factory. Yeah. And a salt it really fest. Is. It is a salt yeah. fest grease tomato factory. Add some fresh it's a low, to it. yeah. A little bit of a little bit Palette of this cleanser. or that. A little cleanse. A little zinger. A little fleshy tomato. Sure. That's, That's a good, good call, man. man. My fat ass would just put fucking grilled onions on that bitch yeah, and make it make worse. It worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. it comes with onions. Yeah, it comes yeah. With more. Onions. And there's special sauce. And honey butter. And then you fucking grill it. On Texas the whole, toast, the whole sandwich. Thing. So what, you're getting a Coke? What are you getting for drinking the fries? Just fries and a Coke? A 50-50 tea? And, a Sprite. Tea. Yeah, 50-50. I knew it was going to be two. Shoot. You're a team. 50-50? Bring tea And you said fries? fries. Yeah. Lemonade. Half lemonade? Yeah, fries. No, no. Uh, They're fries half sweet, half unsweet. You're not getting Arnie Pony? Oh, I see. I see. I go all unsweet. Yeah. I'm yeah, done with do sugar. That. Can't do I, it. What are you, did you already say yours? I have not. Tell us about it, Gemini. So mine would be to go back in time. What? And get their <laughs> grilled chicken sandwich back before really? they fucked grilled. it all the way up. Grilled chicken. The grilled chicken sandwich there used to be so. I've never had a good grilled chicken good. sandwich. I'm on the other side of that fence. Back in the day, it came on that whole wheat bun that just sucked yeah, dicks. Yeah, no, it didn't suck dicks, dude. There's something it. special about that whole combination. <laughs> nah. Just a little bit of mayonnaise. I don't some, mind the whole wheat. Some uh, whole wheat bun, some lettuce. And, and it was then a marinated the chicken marinated breast. Marinated chicken breast. Did it taste like real chicken? It had the mm -hmm. real ass chicken? Mm hmm. It was shaped it was a little a, It was bit a weird. chicken breast. It was okay. flatter than it should be. It was a flat chicken breast. I think it was breast. machined. So it sounds even. bad, dude. No, it's good. This sounds like you're making a right. damn mistake. No, this is mine. Balls. This the is mine. This is called Whataburger, man. But uh, as a side, I would get the chicken strips with white gravy. <laughs> Okay. Hell yeah. yeah! Chicken strips with white gravy. Huh? Hell yeah! No, chicken you, fries. Yeah. Only a little bit of chicken strips with biscuits only and gravy. because they don't have steak fingers, and that's the biggest fucking fuck up of all time. Imagine water burger steak fingers, Bullshit. dude. Maybe Man. they can't do steak. They have fucking hamburgers. Oh yeah. That's what you just chop them up are. and dip You're them right. in the same shit. You put the fucking everything different. else in. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go to Dairy Queen for the. You gotta steak go to DQ. Basket. Love the steak finger basket. See, but imagine if it was that fucking no, water burger. good. Yeah, you're right. Except this guy's a brown gravy kind of guy. Yeah, no, not for that, though. Yeah, you're right. Because it oh. has to have that. The cummy. The cummy the texture. Cummies. I need the it's cummies. It's got a grip. You need the cummies you're in your tummies. You're dipping your french fries in it. Yes! That's true. And you're running out. So you're you get a second. You're dipping your chicken in it. Yeah. That's and you're dipping your, your Texas toast in it. Yes. Mm. And I'll, you're dipping obviously, everything in, you're dipping your everything dick in, in it. That box. Obviously, you're <laughs> dipping your dick in it. Yeah, the problem is, dude, if you can't suck your own dick, you can't really, you can't lick it off. That's you gotta the problem. dip your dick in it first, then dip the rest. Well, so you gotta hot, taste your dick, obviously. That's yeah. true, you're right. It's like a self suck, but yeah, if it's like if it's piping hot, dude, it's then it's a like, proximal it'll... self suck. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's self suck through like a medium. <laughs> Secondary self suck. Secondhand self suck. Proxy self suck. <laughs> self suck by proxy, like Munchausen, <laughs> but it's self suck by proxy. We found the name of the episode. <laughs> R slash self suck. Self suck, self -suck by, proxy. by proxy. By proxy. R dash. Or slash. slash, yeah. Dash is a and that is a high. Yeah, you're right. So let's make this quickly sad, then happy again. What is it? Oh yeah, 
What happened, Gemini? No, Art didn't give us his. It's not my story. No, the uh, the signature meal. Does it matter? It does. <laughs> yeah, it's... it does. <laughs> <laughs> Which way are we going, guys? Is it cool? No. It's, okay, it's fuck so you. Guys. Just, do it, just do it quickly, though. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Wow. Number five, grilled jalapenos. What's that? It's the water burger with bacon and cheese. Grilled jalapenos. Grilled onions. Grilled onions. Yeah. Jesus. Extra, Extra pickles. Okay. Oh wow. I'll take the fries, but I won't eat them all. Wow. How about the Dr. other Dr. Pepper shake? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's good. That's, that's a fucking an apple pie. And an apple pie. And the lemon pie. I want them lemon. to put two apple pies in my Dr. Pepper shake before they spit it. A, 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 a gang bang? A, uh, what, a, what a bang bang? A blizzard. Okay. Oh, you want to. They call it a uh, water. What a blizzard. What a cocky. What a What a cocky. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Right. Fuck them, man. What a cocky. <laughs> Sounds like you've heard that before, bro. So we're bringing it back down. Yeah. This isn't all. It's oh, not all about me. It's Damn. not all fucking sunshines and rainbows. Sometimes ugly dies. Who's ugly? He's from Salute Your Shorts. Oh, he's uh, he's the. Are you talking about the camp counselor, yeah. Kevin oh, Ugly? Oh, I was thinking Donkey Lips. Oh yeah. Really? I first thought about that. No, it's um. Because it kind of looks like Donkey Lips, like got got you like think attractive. the first person to die from sal- salute your shorts. That's was probably donkey where lips? I was going. <laughs> yeah, like from meth, <laughs> from crack, or something. I'm, this thing I'm, you fell I'm, apart. Actually, I think I'm blending all their features together. It's not Donkey Lips. I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. It's this guy. Yeah, he uh, he died of cancer. That's sad. But oh. you know, salute your shorts. Yes, it brings up the topic of salute, of salute your, shorts. your shorts. Also, R.I.P. Kirk Bailey. You you made us laugh as kids. I don't know if you would have made me laugh as an adult, but uh, you probably would have annoyed me. Probably would have annoyed me. But what do you think he was I up understand. to? Understand, you're not for me. What do you mean? What was he up to? After salute your shorts, what was ugly? Up Actually, to? he was on Cowboy. I was looking it up. He was on Cowboy Bebop. He was he did a like lot a of voice work. Of? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bo. Hold on. Bo. Do you remember a Bo from Cowboy Bebop? Tell I mean, was it, it just like the first episode with the that guy that had the like the red, red eyes? Spray? Yeah. yeah, red eyes. He played Bo William. Oh, Bo on, William on Cowboy. Oh, Pink. was that the? Uh, Let's see the the guy announcer guy from the the TV show that's in Cowboy Bebop. I think it is. Howdy, cowboys! Oh, the cowboy in Cowboy Bebop on that commercial thing. Yeah, about the bounties. I don't think so. You're making this up. I don't think there's... It must be a very small character. Yeah, yeah there's probably. Nothing on it ain't coming up. Anyways, he did a lot of uh, voiceover. And then Gunslingers. Two, 2011. Oh, yeah, he did some um, this, video games. So he did voice work. Yeah, he did voice work. Too asking for something. I'm asking for something bigger than ugly. No. What do you mean? Did the actor Kirk Bailey do anything bigger than ugly in his acting career i mean he he just did bit parts on like seventh heaven beverly hills 90210 yeah you know, without all the shtick of being ugly i don't think i'd be able to recognize him no no one would without the camel hat or whatever the with the and the sunscreen bucket, on his nose and the sunscreen on his nose <laughs> yeah but salute your shorts Let's yes. talk about it <laughs> seminal show we've digressed again funny what do you remember most? All right, I want to ask you guys a trivia question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, there was an episode where Budnick and his buddy <laughs> yes. friend, what was his, Michael? Pinsky? Oh, it was before Pinsky. It was the first dude. Or maybe it was Pinsky. Budnick? Budnick. He was like yeah. the main bad boy in Salute Your Shorts. The guy who was in a band. Yeah, and he had a mullet. mullet. He was like a redheaded kid with a mullet. Yeah. Was he in Rilo Kylie? No, that oh. was Pinsky. That was Pinsky. Pinsky. And they had the song Salute Your Shorts, so you got more respect for him. Uh, right, yeah. Brian? That's right. Tell us about it, emo kid. That's right. There he is. He's the Rilo Kylie guy. All yeah. right. So anyways, what's the trivia? What's the trivia question? Okay, the trivia is the two of them, Budnick and his ne'er-do-well friend. I don't know if it was Michael, the first Pinsky, or Pinsky, the actual Pinsky. But they pretend to act sick by like, drinking a pail full of like toothpaste and beans and stuff like that. Just like shove it in their mouth. Concoctions were big in these shows. Yeah, and then they, all, they put it in their mouth and held it in their mouth. And when they were doing like a roll call or something like that, they end up <laughs> chucking yeah. on ugly shoes. Yes. And got to stay home from the, or stay at the camp on from a field, the field from trip. A field trip. So here's a trivia question. Where were they going on the field trip? No, they get to stay in the nurse's office. Yeah. And they find a puzzle and they end up building the puzzle. What was the puzzle when they flipped it over and showed the picture? And it, it completes the plot of the episode. 
But how would we know? I mean, I guess because you've seen this episode numerous times. No, it's been. So I, I know exactly what happens in this episode. The puke part, right? That's it's like been the beginning at of the least episode. Twenty-five years. But then the it. the blonde hair kid is also sick, mm-hmm. and they want to break. Oh, it's a key. No. Well, they wanted no, we to break it. Something is locked up. The ice cream is locked up yes! in the freezer by this big old chain and padlock, uh-huh. right? But apparently, Budnick finds the keys. Eventually, that's the end of the plot. Right, let yeah. me guess. The question uh, is the puzzle. The puzzle is like ugly. It's like a message from ugly or something. No, no. Oh. Gemini it's about said it. Families. He just said what, it. Key? key. No. What was the like ice cream? Yes. Oh, it's an ice cream cone. That's right. It was Walton, like, three yeah. scoops and like the cone, right? It was like scoops of ice cream. Because they end up talking about it. And this was the episode that Budnick had the heart to heart with. Heart to heart with Michael. I guess that's I his, name. his name. Is it was the first Pinsky. About like his the dad was like never there. Yeah, oh, so he got gosh. really he got really good at yeah. doing puzzles upside down. Yeah, <laughs> so they would do the puzzles like face down, and that's all they would do because they, they didn't really have no like, money. Yeah, they didn't have they weren't close to anything. And then they finish the <laughs> yeah. puzzle and flip it over, and it's scoops of ice cream. And so Michael goes to like so they get the driven to open the freezer that's locked, and up. it's already open. And Bunnick's like, I got the keys already, <laughs> and they ate all the ice cream. Anybody? Wow. That was a good ass episode, dude. What was the episode you remembered? That was the one. The only okay. one I remember is like the. Uh, uh, it's because I got another uh, one. Zeke the plumber. Oh, that's a good you remember one. Remember that? Yeah. No. It was. Uh, when he was like ugly in a mask. When well, like he was trying to scare him. Yeah. Like, it's a urban it's, legend thing. All you gotta do is look at this picture and you'll uh, wait. The mask. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean that was freaky, dude. Yeah. And it was like the was POV with the plunger freaky. going on that your face. That looks like a, a man's face on a man. It reminds me of Wilson from Home Improvement without yeah. the inside. <laughs> with a broken nose. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? All right. So what? here's another. Burrito. Episode. Did you watch much salute your shorts? I don't think you did, right? I didn't. Yeah, burrito didn't. was a no TV kid. He was reading books. No, I watch TV. I just didn't watch Salute Your Shorts. You didn't watch Nickelodeon. How about Hey Dude? Yeah, about I hey did, dude? I did. did I watched, hey um... Hey Dude? Hey Dude? Yeah, hey dude. I watched Hey Dude. Oh! Yeah. Hey, who's your favorite character? Christy. Was it Ben uh, Stiller's Benzel's wife? wife? <laughs> yeah. Or what was the son's name? The owner's son. Oh. Yeah. He was, yeah. That was a trivia question. I have no idea. Uh, so back to Salute Your Shorts before we go into Hey Dude or go on to the next topic. So the other episode I remembered was do you remember when Budnick had a crush on Dina and wanted to ask her to their little social thing? They were going to have, like, a dance. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Budnick put on this whole show of, like, singing her, like, a love song to try yeah. to, like, win her over. Yeah. And she just ended up, like, laughing in his face. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it was Didn't he have, those... like, a Van Halen guitar or some shit like that? There was, like, like a, a red guitar scene to it. Yeah. She's like, hot. It was a... Dina? I think so. Yeah. I mean, nowadays. She looks like uh, Phoebe Cates. Yeah, but, like, a Latina... Phoebe Cates. Latinx Phoebe Cates. <laughs> Latinx, thank you. Titties. All right. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, dude. We don't have to talk about hey, dude. Oh, no, Nothing no, really no, fucking no, happened. No, no, no. I'm thinking about it, and all I remember was that Ben Stiller's wife was in that. Like, I, I don't think it was a good show. Do you remember the character's name? Christy? No. Christine? No. That's Brinkley? a real name. Christy oh. Brinkley? I don't think it's Christine Brinkley. No, no I looked not. it up. Christine it's Taylor. Melody. 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 And There's who was the main dude? And trivia question, what was his middle name? I don't know what his name Alright, his name, the main dude, like the... Yeah, I remember. Okay. It was... I don't remember There's him. a bear that shares a name with it. Yogi? No. It's like a very common bear. Usually with a longer name, but like the short version of it, the one syllable name. What? What the There's fuck are you talking about? Bear. talking about? Usually it's like stuffed. Ted. 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 Uh, Ted. Oh, okay. You knew yeah. all along. I didn't know you were... You were uh, Ted Theodore Logan. It wasn't Ted Theodore Logan. Mm. I forgot Ted's la- last name. What was a burrito? Bundy. No. Ted McGriff. <laughs> okay. Ted Bundy? McGriff. I'll take it. Senior staff. Yeah. Christine Taylor. On the dude Ranch. Melody Hansen. Yeah. She was from, uh, this character was from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Tell me there was a character named Buddy. It's a steel town. There's a character named Buddy, right, Brian? Uh, Bert- Buddy Ernst. Yeah. That's the owner's son. Uh, Buddy's in quotations. Yes, it is. Anyways. Right. You know, no, we're just kind of like saying facts about Nick- old Nickelodeon shows now. Yeah. Yeah. So let's keep doing it. <laughs> is what I meant. <laughs> but rest in peace, ugly. Rest in, rest peace, in peace, ugly. Kurt Bailey. You made me, you know you gave me some joy as a kid. Yeah. Before I also scared we, the shit out of him. Before mm-hmm. the carpal tunnel with the mouse pads and stuff. You know what I mean? Speaking of, I hate when that happens. Hell yeah. You got any tips for me, burrito? Mm, BFN. I got some uh, BNN. BNN BFN. B- BF- BNN BNN. BF BNN. What is BF, BNN. Yeah. What's called BF? No BF BNN. What is that? Oh, breaking! Oh, you guys know breaking uh, fucking burrito news network. <laughs> <laughs> Nippon news. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Nippon is. You guys ever seen those opai no, mouse? No, I haven't. What is an opai? Yes. Tell me about it. Opai like the little opai. like not little but big boobies. That's what opai big means. Big boobies right? what? Yeah. Just in general? Opai means big boobies. Yeah, but where am I yeah, seeing Opie these? Like in a drawing boobies. or like a video? You're seeing no, them on no, a those... mouse pad. Oh, so yeah. think of a mouse pad. Oh, it's a mouse pad. That has that little... The gel yeah, that has a little wrist thing rest. that you can... Yeah, you, you rest can your rest, rest your wrist on. And it's yeah. just boobs? Yeah, it's just boobs. That's awesome. And it's... It's you know, called it's, an Opie like mouse pad? little mountains. Yeah, but like how much do these things run? Asking for your friends? No, I'm just curious. Some some Christmas presents. Some Christmas presents. I bet they're thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, you could probably get them cheap. I'm sure there's more expensive ones if you you know. With like memory foam. And this one licensing. This one's full body sized. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. So Jesus Christ. (laughs) Fascinate me, burrito. They're releasing one that is not boobs. What is it though? Is it her ass? I hope they already have the one. Thighs. Thick thighs. thighs. Thick thighs right. saves lives. Thick <laughs> thighs save lives. Is that How? true or false? True. How? True. True. No. So How? this is a thick thighs save lives. True or false? How? True or false? False. Mm. <laughs> so instead of making the uh, you know the normal boring titty one, mouse, yeah, sure. titty mouse. There's so many to choose from. It's just boring. There's so at many. This point. Yeah. They're like, hey, what else new. can we do? We need to be more creative here. So they got one where it's just the thighs, mm-hmm. and the rest of her is flat. Wow. How do you feel about that burrito? I, I'm I'm fine with it. I, I, I like, like it. it. Let's talk prices like here. This is the character Riza Stout. Is she in fact Stout? A, Are you guys familiar with this character? Yes. I am not. I'm not. I'm not. True or nah, false? So What's she from? It doesn't matter. Uh, it says Atelier series of games. It's okay. Atelier. 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 Yeah. Oh. It's a French anime. I had to look at this. So it's a it's a life size mouse pad. Life that's size, where large. it's flat. Yes. It's flat, and the only thing that's protruding are two thighs, and you can I, I guess yes. you can stick stuff in between you put them. Put your dick in there. Is this life yeah. size yes. for like thirteen year old boys you, or what? I mean, this if is I would, life size for the character. It's a one to one scale reproduction of the character. So this thing must stature. be huge. I mean, for a She's mouse pad. A, it's 27.6 inches tall by 15.7 inches wide. So that's a pretty it's big like this big. Bag. It's big enough to fuck, I'll tell you that. Is hey, it, does, more so than it just enough. Covers the whole table <laughs> And your cock will look huge. Yeah. yeah, where does your dick go on this thing? In between the thighs. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it's pretty big. Like I guess you could put your wrist in between there, but Sure. Seems like eh, I don't know. I don't yeah, know if it's Why don't you be drill a hole in it instead? Pad. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah, so is this a you think this is oh yeah, the price. Yeah. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Now look Bullshit. as a kid who, who, who it weighs four and a half pounds. It's a cheap sex toy. As a kid who fucked his mattress, this would have been a step up. If I if I could have got yeah. my hand my grubby little hands on two hundred and fifty nine dollars. You might make this pull. What's that? Back in the day, if you could have gotten two hundred fifty nine dollars together, yeah, you might have figured out how to get this shipped from Japan. I would have got a COD. COD uh, back it's... in the day, it was all CODs <laughs> if you wanted to ship from overseas. <laughs> so I would have done that. Wow. Yeah, this but is a big true for me, is. dude. Yeah. So all you the wouldn't way. be ashamed to have one on your work area? Yes, I would be ashamed because <laughs> <laughs> it's covered in cum. Yeah. yeah. It's all crusty <laughs> and discolored. Yeah. You know, I do like big mouse pads though. Like I have a really desktop big one. Desktop mouse really? pads. What? I mean, what's going on with it? The mouse pads. I play travels. video games, so I just need like all the fucking space in the world. Okay. That's what's up. All right. That is what's up. That was Double X Quantimino. Double X Quantimino. Let me what you know. Hollywood they has financial advisors. When you gotta move some weight, well, wait. Who do you help you diversify your holdings? Flat rate. Always great. Who do you get it done? Call who do you tell us today? Or regret it tomorrow? Who do you tell us? Dynamite! And this is the news. Top of the hour. Apple to replace iPhone with Metaverse contact lens. That lets you live in VR. Guess what, everybody's fucking Hell anime yeah. titties. I'm in a room full of anime dudes. Yeah. That's what I've been waiting for, man. This right here? Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, I've living been wait- in the fucking Matrix? I've been waiting for the time in the future where I could just be around all my bros and they all look like trans women. Yeah. Imagine that. Just live filters. Fuck. Live filters. Fuck. 
You could fuck I anything. I already wear contacts, so, so this I is just like, need them to do things. These would be thicker, you know, though. Do extra things. Do you think this has legs, though? No. <laughs> Why I not? Does. I think Why it does not? in like it how the fuck eyes, are you man. powering these things? In 50 years, you tell yeah. me. Unless there's wireless electricity, which there is. Yeah, what? maybe okay. you got to wear like something on your head. No, no, no. How about this? How about it's like uh, solar powered, so you have to stare at the sun for oh, a little perfect. bit. Perfect. Like thrice? <laughs> no, but the middle part is like the solar cell, so it's like, oh, it's cool. It's like sunglasses. <laughs> so I don't know. That's a thought. That's a bad idea. Bullshit. Maybe it charges every time you blink. So like the movement Mechanical of Mechanical motion? Yeah. Maybe. But dude, these or maybe these you things just have, have to, to charge like, them, and then like you put them on your eyes for as long as you're gonna wear them, or yeah. until the battery. No, I'm out. trying to live like this. 50, uh, I think fifty I'm years from now, that point, live. you're just but hooking also, it up to yeah, your you're energy right. source. No, but also you, you're right. You have to take the contacts out to wash them. So yeah, I guess so that's the charging time. That, but yeah, it's just weird putting batteries in your eyes though, or some Why sort not? of energy. People got them in their hearts. Yeah, man, but it's pr by prescription. Speaking of prescription. <laughs> Company offers employees masturbation breaks with whack, wank, wank pods, wank, wank pods. pods, and VR. I was wondering what that word Is was. Is it wank? I believe it's wank. Yeah, it should, it should be, be, wank. Wank. be wank. I like wax pods. It's like British. Yeah, but wax not like wax five letters. Is it? W H W A C K. Wack. No, W A C K is like, that's whack. Yeah. That's different than whacking off. Is it? Yes. I don't think so. The H is for hand. The H is for hand. I need to challenge that. Next time on Slam City. The strip chat office will house four high tech pods fit with VR headsets to give their employees some privacy. So, first off, tell me about strip chat. Is this some sort of. I don't give a fuck about strip chat. Let's not even talk about it. Well, how does this line up with the masturbation breaks? Because you're having this like business where you got to watch this stuff all day. These are perks for nerds. company. This is just perks for nerds. That makes sense, though, dude. If your job is just to constantly look at tits. No, they're not looking at tits. These are programmers. Oh, okay. Web design. Yeah. Speaking of programming VR, the tits. <laughs> oh, okay. So, all right. Strip Chat is the person who made this. No, it's the office that they're working in. And yeah, it's the programmer nerds. But one of the perks of being in the office is you have a wank pod. Yeah, they're Imagine, trying to differentiate themselves. Is there a cleaning see, crew that's keeping that thing sterile? It's self-cleaning. Oh, it is? What do you think? I don't what? believe that. Self-cleaning. I never believe nah. that anything is self-cleaning. Yeah. It probably just shoots like UV after the person leaves the pod. Self cleaning. Even vaginas are, I don't believe they're self cleaning. Yeah, That's they, what they say they are. They are self cleaning. I don't believe it. Yeah. They just make more mess than they could keep up with. <laughs> they just, they do self clean. They replace your mess with their own mess. Right. That's how um, pH works, man. I was wondering, I was like, how long is this break? And it's 30 minutes. Lucky employees will get to enjoy a 30 minute break. Lucky. Lucky. I mean, what is this? Uh, it's so an best editorial. during work hours, as the company said it aims to provide It's getting you talking about strip chat. Safe, comfortable space to rub one out. I mean, maybe they no they're trying to normalize uh, office masturbation. Hypothetically, <laughs> here at the Slam City Stereo, if there was a wine pod, yeah. would you be using it? After hours. What if you were offered 30 minutes on the clock? And You'd be stupid I, not no, to. I would, Same I would. cleaning crew as what you got now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't cleaning that shit. <laughs> but in this story, they were saying, like, they give you all, like, you know, Accoutrement. lube and napkins and whatnot. I ain't using those, yeah, I'm going dry. I'm going dry until I'm flaky, dude. This is the same stuff that you yeah. put on your balls, man. Oh. No. Well, maybe now same we're talking. warm goo. Yeah, but 98.6. It... And it's like, it gets applied to you. Yeah. On by you. By, no, by, by a, a robot. Tech? By the wank oh. pod. By There's some prosthetic hands that come out of nowhere that sounds get fine. you ready. Like it says, good. insert balls here. It's you pretty just much like don't have to use your hands the whole time. Where you just drape your balls buttons. and it sprays it. It's like in the a, seat. It's like, yeah, it's in the seat. You just drape your balls down. It's like, tss, but it's, it's, it's 98.6 degrees. And, and then the prosthetic great. bottom half of a face like shows up. That sounds nice. So it you sterilizes your penis with a sterilizing lube. It doesn't need to do that. Sterilizing lube. Okay. It's basically hand sanitizer that it's throwing <laughs> on your dick. It's like making it drier than if I just don't use lube at all. Would you use a burrito bandito? It's a perk. No, it's mandatory. They say you gotta take your break. Oh, you gotta take your break? Well, then I guess I gotta take my break. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, uh, 
Fucking uh, the uh, secretary. Oh, what is it? The workforce commission's breathing out our throat. Yeah, we got to give you, you the, your thirty your, minute break. You gotta, I know you keep forgetting, but you got to take your you break. You got to take your break. Take yeah, your break. You got to fresh yourself up. The meeting room calendar for that VR pod booked it's until booked like four thirty. Solid. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, there's only after like, hours. Like, I'd rather just two, go maybe home. Also, two cleanings like, a day. No, yeah, and the guy after. Yeah, it's, it's so musty got somebody in there. else's yeah, yeah. somebody else's the humidity. Worst, the worst part is that people are going to be sitting in that seat bare ass. I think that's the worst you're part. You're going bare ass or you're yeah. just showing no, off I your wealth not, again. But I think a lot of people are I might too. Why yeah. wouldn't you? That's what I'm saying. Everyone's everyone's got their shit. You're just ass putting in like there. I think you're I'd not take pl- in like a towel or something if I was going to do that. Like yeah. I'm going to the beach. No, I think it has like the at the doctor's office the paper. The paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> hey Gemini. Yo! Didn't you work with someone oh, no. who got caught oh, yes. off in the bathroom because he left his uh oh, yeah. his Bluetooth He left his Bluetooth speaker yeah, Bluetooth connected. Speaker. <laughs> connected. And you could hear the volume pulsing up and down as he tried to see why the fuck his porn wasn't playing audio <laughs> in the bathroom. Well, it synced to your Death Star fucking uh sound. <laughs> Yeah, the Bluetooth, yeah, speaker. Star, Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth, his son or his sons. Wow. Yeah. This sounds close, guys. You know. <laughs> speaking of Jack Shacks, what is this? ice cream Jack machine Hacks. hackers. Yeah, Jack, Jack Hacks. There you go. Ice cream machine hackers sue McDonald's for nine hundred million dollars. What happened? So basically, McDonald's has an exclusivity deal. They're yeah. infamous for their broken ass ice cream machines, yeah. where and... they have to be the ones who service your ice cream machine. The ice cream machine creators are the only ones that can service their own And machines. so these hackers, they're hacking their way into servicing the they're machines themselves. another service to the power? existing need for service. So like people who own like a McDonald's franchise will go mm-hmm. through them instead of the... Uh... No, they have to go through the manufacturer to but get the repair. No, but the hackers. The, oh, yeah, I guess so. I, I, I'm, not, I'm still not understanding. Can, sorry. They came up with an idea that who works did? better than this company that's suing. Who, so third party inventors came up with a way to keep the ice cream machines working. Yeah, working without needing that intervention of the manufacturer. Okay. And they so, don't like that. The I manufacturers see. at McDonald's don't like that. So they they put a kibosh on them and I guess caused them to lose a bunch of money or projected money. They're probably mm-hmm. suing so that they can do this. So they can have their invention incorporated, which is a cheaper, more cost effective way. We're on the side of the company, right? Which company? <laughs> Not McDonald's? Yes. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Excellent news, guys. Hey. Hey, look. I thought we'd talk about the ice cream machines. Uh, yeah, I got confused, and then... And then he just killed the story. But to me, <laughs> Gemini, it was the bee's knees. Oh. Speaking of bee's knees. Bee's, bees, bees dicks. Bee's knees and, bee- <laughs> and bee's seas. Bee's nuts. <laughs> Last summer's heat wave in British Columbia caused bees to ejaculate to death. So, I feel like that's disingenuous. I, I feel like they were busting nuts to death because their nuts were li- literally busting oh, out yeah, of them. Yeah. It wasn't so, exactly ejaculating. So, like, this thing was happening where, like, these beekeepers, they uh, they would go to their hive and, like, all the male bees would be dead with cum everywhere. <laughs> and they were like, what <laughs> Tail the- as old as time. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, what the fuck is happening? And so they called... It was a borgy. <laughs> they uh, they got a hold of some researcher, and the researcher was like, he was like, yeah, we we did a study where like, if you um, if a bee reaches a certain internal temperature, it'll just fucking come to death, dude. If you had that option, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> the death penalty is you have to reach one hundred four degrees internally, but you would come to death. <laughs> <laughs> you would have a well, literal come bottle, to death man. moment. It friggin' pops you, dude. It, I you feel get like, so hot, you pop. I feel like more people would be accidentally killing themselves and also committing murder just so they get the death penalty. Wait, what do you mean? The death pe- is the death penalty this? Yeah, you get heated you to get s- to get a degree, but you ejaculate to death. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't let you do that. Die that way. They would keep you in a fucking freezer to, to prevent you from from ejaculating at all. Yeah, because stop there would, me. There would be an uproar. There'd be a public uproar. They'd say, wait. This person, this criminal, gets to go out in the ejaculating, ejaculating but it's in like a hundred degrees of passion. You know, your internal body temperature is very uncomfortable. Okay. So, like, imagine fucking in the middle of the desert. But I think it would be good. It would because you would be you'd be mixing that pain and pleasure. It'd be like what? you know, s- sweet and savory, dude. Spicy and savory. Spicy and savory. What's the longest you've come for? I don't know. 
seconds? Yeah, mere 14 seconds. minutes. <laughs> Imagine 45 minutes of that. Wait, how do you know? You're just saying. Yeah. Bullshit. No, I'm making hypotheticals here. If it's 45 minutes? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I already got the death penalty? Yeah. I'm in, dude. You're just like, no, but you're like coming. Until you die. It actually for might 45 get... minutes. It would get redundant. And it would it would start tedious. to hurt. It'd be like uh, sneezing yes. too much. Because sneezing once or twice is fun. Fine. But if you sneeze 10 in a row, you're like, It's annoying. Fuck. What's wrong with me? It hurts. You start coming blood? Yes. That's so, yeah, how you I die. don't want to do 45 minutes. No, you don't, get, you don't get a choice. Then I don't want to, then. Oh, okay. He's out, guys. I'm still in. If it's 30 seconds, though? No, tomorrow's no fuck that. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> speaking that's, uh, that's, what? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was it. That's the way I've been ending the excuse now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> with, a, with a whimper. <laughs> no bang. You know, slam citizens. Burrito's always dreamed of being a Japanese deer expert, despite not being Japanese and practicing his deer in the headlights look by staring at his phone's flash, so he can really connect with them. So grab a handful of headlines and some approved crackers. This is Burrito's Nippon News. A segment within a segment. 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 Tell us about these crackers. You got crackers. So, well, I guess I got to tell you about these deer. There's this place called Nara. I've heard and, of it. Nara. Yeah. Uh, that's that's where I oh, stayed when I, when I first got to Japan. Oh, excuse when me. When we went. Yeah. Mr. World Traveler they get, here. They got all these deer. Apparently. They just walk around the park and everyone like loves them. they own them. the place. Yeah. And, Did you pet them? And you, can no. you stab them? You can feed uh, them. Not recommended. <laughs> yeah. You can feed them, but, but you got to buy these crackers that have been specially formulated so that it, you know, is nutritious for them. It Stop doesn't fuck up their diet. That's pretty nice, yeah. actually. No, what if, yeah. like, because, like, people give the fucking Austin's Ramen? crackers... You love those, though. Yeah, but they're yeah, not good for deer. Morning. Oh, okay. Deer shouldn't be eating them. Maybe. Yeah, so they give them, like, granola bars now. You do a little bow, and they bow to you. No, they don't. Yeah, no, they do. Nah. Yeah, they're all domesticated. Wow, that's yeah. fun. They're deer domesticated. Yeah. What right. do you think? <laughs> you, you, you're only <laughs> supposed to give them a cracker if they bow. If you don't do You'll it like that, them. then no they get kind of angry. Yeah. If the, you don't give them a cracker after they bow, they get pissed. But if you give them a cracker and they don't bow, you're ruining them for everybody yeah, else. Yeah, you're spoiling them. Yeah. You're sparing yeah. the rod. So you could just do this all day. You're unlearning them. As long as you're hungry. As long as you're hungry. So they're, they're they're tend to be and nice. They tend, tend to be, be nice. nice. And! Uh-oh. However, <laughs> there was a marathon that was going on what? in the park. It's not a great idea. What kind of marathon? Like a bukkake? No, like running 26.2 uh, miles. Fifth jack? Nah. The yeah, only yeah. kind of marathon. Yeah, just, sure. Running twenty six point two. How many, many kilometers? Kilometers? Little how many kilometers? And they... It'd be in KMs. Right? How many kilometers were they running? Be like real 50? about this. Yeah, be real with us. I'm talking don't about twenty six point two. They don't know what that is. They don't tip. Jesus, I think it's like forty five kilometers. No, let's say that. I think everyone knows that a marathon is twenty six point two miles. No, I that's don't. like I the standard. That. Yeah, it's the distance between marathon and um, Rome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he was. No, Great not Greece, Rome. Athens. I don't That's know where, where going, he was going. Comes from, which is fucking in the butt. So this deer, <laughs> yeah, hits a runner. Oh yeah, no the yeah. Well, so the large herd of deer ran across the road, As like kind of in a stampede. Do. Well, they don't usually do a little stampede. They just kind of meander. They've been uh, organizing? Aggressive. Oh, wow. They, they were, were asking yeah. for higher yeah, wages. They, they were organizing and they ran <laughs> across crackers. the road. Yeah. And they ran into a runner. Jesus. Yeah. Was, Is the lady okay? Thing. I think it was a dude. Mm. Yeah, no. it seems okay. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Not like this, no? you're not? Mm-mm. Uh, Mm-mm. Okay. This guy would have gotten hit. I'm just saying that. Could have dodged the deer. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think about that? That's why she should have looked where she was going. <laughs> it's like God speaking of uh, getting run over. Tokyo woman with signal block TV loses appeal, contesting her obligation to pay the NHK fees. Wow! Break it all down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. I have a little bit of an idea. I kind of do so too. Maybe uh, let's I'm, take this might... one word at a time. Tokyo city in Japan. Yeah. Woman, not dude. Signal block TV. Yeah, yeah, okay, so first I got to explain NHK. NHK is like... The National company? something yeah, broadcasting. Yeah, the, it's like a fee that yeah, you pay the broad, government. Yeah, it's a broadcasting company. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everybody well, has to pay this. It's like a tax. Yeah. So, yeah, so everyone has to pay this. Ah, if you have, you have a TV, a TV Bullshit! or anything that can watch TV, then you have to pay this like yearly NHK fee. fee. Which just seems like a pain in the ass to like regulate. Yeah, yeah you should just so like they, tax people. They got people that go door to door. I know, to, they like, do that in uh, England too. Holy shit, for really? the BBC? Yeah. They do, yeah. Holy wow. shit. Bullshit. What a waste of resources. It's insane. <laughs> it's so just easy put it on the tax though. Yeah. I mean, don't put it on the tax, but if you're going to, put it on the tax. Yeah, make it easy to fuck me. Don't make me have to answer the door with my dick out. I know. Just, yeah, because my dick's going to be... If it, you come my, to my door... My dick is out. I live at home. for TV money? My dick's out. My dick is out. <laughs> Deal with it. Hey, yeah, so this lady, this lady had yeah, actually uh, won uh, a court hold on case. One second. Hold, hold on one second. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Are you the TV guy? No. Uh, you... Uh, owe me five bucks for uh, the cab fare last week. Uh, sorry, wrong door. <laughs> Shit, your dick's out. <laughs> <laughs> By yeah. the way, so you your dick's out. You couldn't tell through the silence, but I was jerking off. Uh, <laughs> Slowly, Robin just. I was just like, <laughs> tell me more, Cabby. Cabby. Just pacing it. Tell me more, strange Cabby. Olympic swimming pools. Just pacing it. Yeah. Sorry. Well, uh, so she had so to pay anyway. And she so she got the law she, the got law the one. she won a case because she has a TV that that has Locks like a those, signal blocker yeah, on it, and she didn't know channels. how to. She got yeah, she didn't blockers. know how to uninstall it, so they were like, oh, "Okay, you don't have to pay it." But then it went to an appeal, and they said, "No, nah, you do." Give us our money. Isn't that funny how that yeah. works? Yeah. So let's say you didn't have a TV at all, but you had say like a computer that you watch YouTube on. You yeah, you still gotta pay. No fucking way! So you gotta, you be gotta off the grid. You gotta be off the grid to not have to pay this NHK. Otherwise, they'll find you and they'll fee you. Yeah, there's even a guy that he he, he runs a group that says protect. It's called protect the nation from the NHK party. Shit. And they got him to pay his fee also. Shit, somehow. they fucked. The, oh, yeah, <laughs> somehow they fucking asked for it and he paid it. So, so he's actually changed the name of the party to protect the nation from the old party's party. <laughs> well, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> There's a lot of things moving I don't along. Get. New Japanese hot pot restaurant directs you to melt an adorable bear like a movie villain. Oh. No, you know what would be cool? You know what would be fucking cool? You know what would be fucking fucking cool? Tell us about it, Gemini! If it was the fucking Terminator, the rope, like the cop, yes. and you put it in there and you dip it back out and it's all, it's just the melted skeleton. It's the, it's the fucking the metal one skeleton. T-1000? Oh, yeah! <laughs> but what, is there something that's edible that, that has that same sheen? Gummy bears? As like, like lava? It looks like metal. No no, 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 no. This mm. is like basically, say it's like a spice thing. Uh huh. It's like a formed spice on a metal thing. Yeah. And to formed get spice? No, so like, like hot pot, leaves? right? Yeah. So hot oh. pot. You're flavoring your hot pot. I gotcha. And it's formed spice in like, like a butter ball coating. So you just dip it in and the spice melts off. It yeah, goes in your a, hot pot. Right. And it comes a out as the fucking the metal skeleton. Oh, shit. Hot yeah, shit. That, we making money. Cool. Hey, Japan could do that'd it. Because cool. that's. Yeah, it's, it involves science they and technology. have the technology. Yeah, so there's this there's this restaurant that that make these little bears. Oh, yeah, and, and they're a bunch of different colors, and, and they correspond to like different flavors of broth. And so you get to order your oh, that's the cute. broth that you want. Yeah, and then oh, you adorable. just and you melt your bear in your hot pot. Not just any bear, your adorable bear. Shit, it's pretty adorable. Yeah. And you, you gotta get to act like a movie it. villain. You get to watch it's, it. It's kind of scary too. Rubbing your hands together. No, <laughs> there's Mr. some pictures Beth. in there where it's just like. And the melts. bear melts. <laughs> the bear's melts. fucking melting. No, no Mr. Bear, I He's expect dying. you to die. Oh. Which movie villain are you? Me? Yeah. Biggest Dickus. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Biggest Dickus. It's a. Uh, it's, that. That's from Goldfinger. Okay. I'm the yeah, one. Yeah, that's why I said biggest diggers. I'm the eunuch. Oh, wow. <laughs> he got, I'm he's all. He, I, they he's chopped him, my balls off. He only has pissed. balls. He's no ball, the eunuch. Well, no ball, the eunuch. think it's Goldfinger. <laughs> where he's got him tied to the table, and he's got... The, that what? No, the laser Mr. pointed Bond. at his dick. Oh, I don't know that one. Are you sure his dick or is it his oh, balls? Mr. Bond. Uh, it's in the same area. Okay. Mr. Bond, your it's dick. It's like moving I towards him. I to die. Up, up his legs. All, yeah. Like uh, a laser printer, but that kills you. <laughs> this is a good G, I guess. 
It's an OKG. With the adorable bear that you melt? The melting bear. Yeah, it's pretty sure. good. It's flavors. You don't like flavor? You don't like flavors. Mm. Is, that what I'm, is that what I'm to believe? Maybe. It depends on the flavor. I'm led to be believing that that was the news. That was the news. And this is what I have long. What I have long. Food truck fanboys, you haven't lived until you've conquered the crazy one. Intergalactic Boba Runner Booba Get serves you everything in the crazy one. Infinite calories for a not so infinite price. Best bring your appetite, cause the crazy one has everything. No substitutions, no. Don't give up your much done cred by asking for no pickles or no onions. Booba won't hold the mayo, because it wouldn't be the crazy one if it didn't have everything. Next time you have a craving for clout that will get your feet wet, find the most badass food truck in the galaxy and order the crazy one from Booba Gets. Abu gets, and I gets it, so get it. Boom Chi, the national dish of Slam City. Pizza. Wow. Is no. that true? No, 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 I didn't Whoa. have pizza. <laughs> the national Slam the national City. Dish. Not Slam City, the state that Slam City resides in. Oh, barbecue. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh. I was, was going to say chili. I did have brisket. What the, else? The next Assorted? One's... The next one. The they, next uh, one is uh, you ain't gonna guess it. You ain't gonna get it. It's ethnic. Hey, guess what? You ain't gonna get it. It's ethnic. Chorizo? No, like uh, ethnic, like Brian. Ethnic. <laughs> oh, gumbo. Oh. But like a different kind of brisket gumbo. No, lobster. It's gumbo? not gumbo at all. Two meats. Oh. One meat. Yeah, brisket, I got two other meats. Meat. One was brisket. Man, I would even call was... this a meat. Oh, boudin. Yeah. You got that boudin. Oh, Yo. Yeah. It was too dry. It wasn't good. Aww. That's what I have for lunch. R.I.P. What if it was a boudin kolache though? I'm just dreaming right now. No, yeah. it'd still be. It's the the problem was it was too dry. Yeah, the if boudin was too dry. This boudin yeah. for the the kolache, it would Would've be bad. Sucked. Oh man. Like the insides were like too dry. Gross. It's like dry. I think rice. that's called a klobasnik. What? Jesus. It's like German. Yeah. Nope. Not today. Kielbasa. No. My kielbasa sausage has just got to perform. The one with the meat inside is called the klobasnik. The, the other the one, one is the uh, kolache. Yeah, oh, the different types of kolaches. The, the sweet ones are called no. kolaches, yeah. Nope, not in Slam City, dude. They're all kolaches in Slam call- City. What are you yeah, trying to correct you us? You culture Don't us? try to take hey, down kolaches. hold on, businesses. Dr. Small Man trying to in, 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 inject some fucking intellect into this got that thing? You're splitting hairs? You're splitting hairs? There's, there's, there's a kolache place at the end of my street. What? Only oh one? My God. Kolaches and klobastics, so... Okay. I'll have the kielbasa. I don't think they're doing as well as real kolache yeah, places. Yeah, they Pollock? Yeah, sound like Pollock. Oh Pollocks. my god. <laughs> we can say po- Look, you can use it's any- called Pollock, Jackson Pollock. Oh, okay, my bad. Are they Jackson Pollocks? Yeah. I think you can use any white uh, slur? slur now. Okay. You're you're testing them all. Yeah. Bullock. Brute forcing them. Mick. That works Bullock. so hard to say though. Yeah. Pollock? Yeah. The, the it word is. he was using that wasn't kolache. What is it called again? Kielbasnik. Klobosnik. Klobosnik. Klobosnik? See, it's a yeah. branding issue, though. It's a branding yeah. issue, mm-hmm. right? Like Klobuchar? If you're walking past two stands, it's identical. One says Kolaches, the other one says Kolaches and Klobosniks. I'm wa- uh, yep, I'm going to the Kolaches. Like, way. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's spelled K L O B A. Oh, no. Hey, Dr. Small Man Quantum went into the fucking Clo- quantum of the wallet. Back. See, this is what happens when you try to spell in Slam City. Can you spell that again? You get dumped. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what if, if I go to, if I to get a kolache, I mean, what if they get their klobachnik in my kolache? I don't want yeah, my kolachnik in my like kebab kolache. I don't even like cabbage. And if it's more than one, it's klobachniki. <laughs> get see? the okay. fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> That's way <laughs> too <Bullshit>. many cabbages. <laughs> Bonchi, the this nation's meal, or whatever uh, Jim and I said. <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> I went to uh, I got barbecue with uh, Jim and I. Same thing. Two meats, different meats. No, oh, no, no, same one, meats. One same, one dip. The brisket was the brisket. same. Brisket and... Pork ribs. No. Ribs? Sausage. Yes. Mm-hmm. Also, I had uh, America's side dish. Potato salad? Oh, no. Mashed potatoes? No. Okay, oh, that's uh, it's not mac as American as... Yes, that one. Which and one? Then, mac and cheese? Yeah, mac okay. and cheese. And then... Uh, like and a th- child. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I also had the mac and cheese. Yeah, it was good. A bunch of children in here. No, I'm just kidding. good, dude. Anyways, that's pretty much it. What'd you have Bullshit. to drink with it? Some Topo Chico? No, I'm not. It's a Diet Coke. 
All right. They go. Maybe you should try some water. Yeah, I should try some water because I got yeah, man, I hydrolysis. Hydrocels. Hydrocels. My balls. He just wants to pay a thousand bucks. You get his diet balls coke in your balls, man. You got straight up Probably. diet coke particles in your balls, dude. Did drinking all this diet coke <laughs> damage my balls? Oh, it may have. Possibly. Yeah, if that's I mean, what you've been having for water. Temporarily. I, yeah, for sure. You just flush it out. I drank I think, so much diet coke that my balls started hurting. Yeah, it makes sense. Like maybe the the diet coke particles are bonding with your ball sack. Right. All those like, preservatives and shit. Yeah, I mean, like when you Turn drink too plastic. many salting things, you bloat. And just yeah, a, I do. and all that uh, canned gumbo. How much actual oh, yeah. water do you drink a day? I do drink a lot, not a lot, but more than I a used to. A lot's not the number I'm looking for. Right. If you don't know how many glasses of water you drink, <laughs> yeah. and you're not drinking enough water. How many ounces or cups? Three or four cups. That's not cups. enough. I'm drinking one Eight. right now. Eight is your magic number, son. Yeah. But is that Did true? How many you cokes this? are you drinking? A lot. Probably more. the yeah. rest. <laughs> Well, and, and coffee and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, and coffee. You're so And hydrated. monster in the morning. Jesus wow. Christ. So most of your liquid is not water. Yeah, that's not good, right? Or at least you should strive for the eight ounces, which is just like... Eight, eight ounces. 64. Yeah, 64. Start carrying around the gallon and drink the yeah, whole thing a day. Or that thing Fuck. that I carry around full of water, you just need to drink like two of those or three. Okay. Two. All right. Something. Well, you know, what's your hydration what, strategy? What Dr. Lupita's going to tell me. Yeah, Dr. Smartman, what's your hydration strategy for Brian over here with the fucked up nuts? <laughs> Brian Ooh. with the fucked up nuts? <laughs> you ever hear about Brian with the fucked up nuts? Man, yo, nuts fucked up. Why are you calling Brian with the fucked up nuts? Oh, he got hydrocele. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that bitch got hot. He got Hydra Seal. Damn. <laughs> he paid. I heard that shit is like mildly discomforting. $1, yeah, he could just ask me. He went and paid someone oh, a thousand dollars. That's Hydra Seal. 50 bucks. Bitch, wait. 15 Diet Cokes a day? That's Hydra Seal, Hydra Seal, easy. We need to hear the water tips from Dr. Small. Oh, yeah. Man, Dr. Small Man. How water do I tips. get rid of this fucking Hydra Seal? <laughs> yeah, fill up a big water bottle and uh, drink it directly. Are, no, 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 no. Yeah. 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 Define big water bottle, though. I don't know. The one that says a uh, container says yeah. Brian's that water. That says no all Brian's uh, H to no the grind no shine. Yeah. Mm. It okay. says all day every yes. day. <laughs> and then every on the day. other side it says every day is leg day. Oh my god. I mean I drink tea all fast. day so oh, no. Probably like it's completely yeah, organic though. 2 to 3 cups. No Green calories. Tea. Except all that honey's putting in it. Do you flavor your tea? No. So why do you flavor your tea at Whataburger? Because it's a treat. He's treating himself oh, before he yeah. eats himself. Mm -hmm. That's your dessert, I see. Because he had honey butter cheddar yeah. biscuit and you had a half sweet tea. I got you. Well, I usually don't get a meal. But what? what? Well, we forced you to get a meal. You just get the cheeseburger and call it? You guys forced me to get a meal. I we just shoved the, it down your throat. I just throat. get the burger and, and drink a water at home with it. That's crazy, dude. You got to have the fries to kind of balance out the textures. Does that make any sense to anyone? Yeah, it makes sense to me, but it's also like... I was thinking the same thing, but with the Dr. What, Pepper shake. No, I no, just no, want to no, dip my burger mean... in the Dr. Pepper shake mixed with the apple pie. Is that what pies. you do? Have you done that? Every day, man. God. All the day, every day. past 14 years. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What'd well, you have wait, for lunch? Yeah, what'd you have for lunch? Burrits. Oh. You made it at home. Breakfast for lunch. Cup of noodle. I made it at home. Tuna. Close. It wasn't in chicken a cup, salad sandwich, but it was ramen. Oh what? Oh oh, you had the package oh, ramen. Cup. Yeah, the seafood packed. flavor one. The lalapeno. No. I had a tonkotsu broth. Jesus flavor. Christ! Did you say talala, mm. talapalina? Talalapeno. Oh my! Have you seen that one? Wait, say it again. Talalapeno. Talalapeno. Have you seen that one? It's just, no. It's just spicy fish. No, no, no. Talapia? No. no, no, no. There's a cup ramen where they've misspelled jalapeno. And it says to Lollapeno. <laughs> and they, you can go get it right now? Yeah. I they think just never fixed it? They just never fixed it. I love that. Yeah. I fucking love that. Yeah. I, actually, I don't know that they don't know it's wrong. So, oh, there's also that. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it, All right, what'd you have for lunch? <laughs> what'd you have for lunch, dude? Boom Burger tea. King. No, I didn't have uh, Burger McDonald's, King this week. It was McDonald's, meal. but I did do another. Yeah. Did you I, pause on the fries? I still paused on the fries, hey, guys. Yeah. Look at him. This is what we call self-discipline. Yeah. Did you know that he's off the fries? Did you know this? No even though they're diet, free? No fry it. Even free? though they're free. No the free yeah. large fries for now. No for fry now. it. Is that for Lent? <laughs> no. He's doing a cleanse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cleanse. A I gave up cleanse? Lent for Lent. So instead, <laughs> so instead of fries, he gets another burger. No. <laughs> 
It's so just patties. They have this coupon deal where it's like oh, no. two items, and the second item you could get for 29 cents. What? You got the chicken sandwich. No, I didn't get the chicken sandwich. Chicken there was nuggets. a sandwich involved. Chicken nuggets. I did get the chicken nuggets. Went with the honey mustard. Yeah. Nice. And the second item is an item that I don't get usually, but it's a very popular, almost as popular as the Big Mac item. The double cheat. The McDouble. Not a double. The McDouble. No. Quarter pounder. Quarter pounder. Damn. It's a different meat, I hear. It yeah, is a different meat. It is meat. definitely a different Straight meat. Straight up. Uh, it is significantly different than the value menu do. And that's what we have for lunch. What we have a lunch? Last night, I awoke in a sweat. The cravings rising from deep within my loins. The salty taste of her belly. Your humid heat warmed my tongue. The soft crunch of that corpulent pancita. Where was I to find a greasy slab of fat to satiate such forbidden desires? Then I remembered Chicken Farms Country Bacon. Well, howdy, y'all. I'm Jimmy Thickum. President and CEO of Thickham Farms. We farm raise our triple C stand hogs to be the thickest and the quickest. All greased up and ready to go. Well, I start every morning with the slickest, thickest trim, fresh from the hog. When you need a slice to fill you up nice, get the arteries pumping, those veins are popping. Thick Thickham. Thickham Farms. Thickham Farms Country Bacon is available at the Thickham Farms booth at the Slam City Farmers Market every Saturday and Sunday morning. Not recommended for children under 18 or women who are nursing or pregnant. Side effects include, but are not limited to, sore jaw and fingers, itis, and erections lasting longer than four hours. Ooh, come to Papi Cerda Gorda. Shove it up your ass. I got three minutes for a ball now. Hey, no worries. No worries. I just felt like a person, you know? Well, that was the news. Was the show, boys. Boys. Good job. Uh oh. What do we got? Hey, crack that door open. Oh, there. nobody cares. Come on. Dude. We don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> nobody gives a shit. That's a kolache. It's a kolache. It's uh, a fucking kolache. That's a cool Bosnick. Oh, oh my Bosnick. God. This piece of shit. <laughs> oh, <come> on, <laughs> <laughs> Bosnick. Really yeah, that's some like. That's some. That's, no. some That's some pedantic shit. ass shit, so if man. If you open up your own kolache place, the pedantic you Polak. enforce yeah. Klobosniks you on just, your menu. No, just call it Klobosniks. And they'll think it's like the dude who owns the place. Yeah, and your fruit mm-hmm. kolaches yeah. can be called klobosniks as well, but... Yeah, you're trying to take it back. Yeah, you gotta flip Wait, it around. Wait, so what I'm is... I'm taking klobosniks back. What is the uh, thing that makes it them different? What's They're the... Meat, meat versus filled. sweet. You know, there's a, yeah. two things called kolaches. There's the, like, little fruit cup baked like item thing. Like a tart. Thing. Yeah, the tart yeah. is a kolache. Like, and then there's the meat filled ones with like sausage, no. typically. Yeah, but the or rolls pudding. with the sausage are technically kolbasniks. Now, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you fucking ask, okay? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. No one, no one, no one says no kolbasniks. No fuck you. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Love See that. you all on Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Thank you all, guys. Yeah. We're going to slam that next one together. Quick. Yeah. Maybe we just do one really long one. We'll Thank see. We we'll see if we have enough content. We're going to kill that 100 right. list, man. Okay. We're going to do, we gonna do that on Tuesday. Uh, no, we're going to do that. Okay. Part one, part two. That's fine. Huh? Maybe. What is 50 50? Is that too much? Is that 100 uh, yeah, pop top, punk songs? Top punk, oh, pop punk songs. I don't even know that many. You don't need well, to know that many because when they you know see it them, for you. Yeah, you know them. Oh. In your heart. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's hard. you already know them. Yeah. yeah. It's inside of you. It's, Although it's already I didn't inside know every of you. single one of them, but I knew a I knew a lot of them. Yeah. I didn't know the new yeah. ones. There's some new ones on there. So like the Olivia Rodrigo yeah. one that Brian knows. I don't know it. No. It's close. <laughs> I've kind of lost the nah, It's the totally one that did. sounds like Paramore. Yeah. Good yeah. For you. The one that's Ripped off from Paramore? I wouldn't say it's ripped off. Mm, I don't see the likeness. Inspired by? You don't see the likeness. I don't. How about the fact that Haley Williams wrote that song? She didn't. She was credited for it. Well, she was credited for it after. After it was published. Because it was so similar. Because little hottie Olivia Rodrigo is a thief. 
Is she? She's mm-hmm. stealing your heart. What do you right? think we are, Teves? <laughs> what do you think we are? All right, all right fellas. All right, dudes. Thank you all for your yeah, time. Speed, you Good man. job, guys. See you later. Dudes. Later. Everyone's entitled to the truth. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Slam City Radio. Get in touch with us through our contact form at slamcityradio.com. We'll send you a sticker, then ask you where you'll stick it. Subscribe, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all day, every day. Scram! I said split! Check the scene, you turkeys! Get out of my house! I'll see y'all tomorrow. Is that too much? Hit him up!